The US Air Force has devised a way to turn its fleets of cargo planes into stealth cruise missile packing bombers capable of engaging dozens of targets from hundreds of miles away on land or even at sea. Now this effort, as you may know, is called Rapid Dragon. And if you've never heard of it before, stick around and I'll give you the rundown. But if you have, well, you'll wanna stick around too because I'm gonna show you some footage of this system in action that you've probably never seen before. Now, Rapid Dragon is a palletized munition system, meaning it's self-contained in pellets that can be easily rolled aboard cargo aircraft like the C-130 Hercules or C-17 Globemaster. Now, this system was designed around the Lockheed Martin-led AGM-158 JASM, Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, a low-observable turbojet-powered cruise missile that flies a lot like a stealth fighter along a horizontal flight path at subsonic speeds and pretty low altitudes, making it exceedingly difficult to detect and even harder to intercept. Now that original AGM-158 had a range of around 230 miles, which would allow these cargo aircraft to deploy these weapons pretty safely outside the reach of even the most advanced enemy air defense systems. But the AGM-158 family of weapons has continued to mature since Rapid Dragon first manifested, leading to the AGM-158B JASM-ER. Now, the JASM ER has the exact same exterior dimensions as that original JASM cruise missile. In fact, they're all but impossible to tell apart from the outside. But on the inside, the JASM ER has a larger fuel tank, and that turbojet engine has been swapped out in favor of a more efficient turbofan, more than doubling the range of this stealth cruise missile out to better than 620 miles. But of course, Lockheed wasn't done then. Then they unveiled the AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile, a weapon based on the JASM ER but with a range of only around 220 miles, using up that extra space that the ER uses for fuel for more advanced onboard electronics, allowing the long-range anti-ship missile to hunt in packs using artificial intelligence and an onboard infrared imaging seeker to scan the ocean looking for ships that meet the description of their targets. Once it identifies a target vessel, it can not only use that infrared imaging seeker to find the most vulnerable point on that vessel to make impact, but it can even network with other long-range anti-ship missiles in the area to distribute those targets amongst themselves, allowing them to serve as true autonomous pack hunters. And of course, the long-range anti-ship missile, once again, has the exact same exterior dimensions as that original JASM, meaning they can also be deployed by these Rapid Dragon pallets. Now, the C-130 Hercules is rated to carry two Rapid Dragon pallets, each with six weapons on board, allowing a single C-130 to deploy 12 of these long-range stealth cruise missiles in very rapid succession. But the C-17 can carry 45 of these missiles, allowing a single C-17 Globemaster to, well, wipe out an entire formation of enemy warships all on its own. Now, these modular Rapid Dragon pallets can be set up in all sorts of different sizes depending on the platform you intend to launch from, with as few as just one or two weapons on a pallet or as many as nine. These weapons are housed within what's called a deployment box, each with a control box on board that manages when the weapons are actually launched, as well as a parachute stabilizer meant to orient these pallets in a downward facing direction so the weapons can drop out of the pallet, expand their wings, take off under their own power, and fly on toward their targets. Now this offers a number of massive advantages to the US military, especially in a long-range fight over somewhere like the Pacific. First and foremost, it dramatically increases the number of combat aircraft available for the fight. The United States military operates more than 400 C-130s of varying trims across the force, not to mention more than 220 C-17s. And because these Rapid Dragon pallets are essentially just roll-on assets, you don't need to modify the aircraft for the job, meaning a C-130 can be doing cargo operations today, Rapid Dragon sorties tomorrow, 
and cargo operations again the day after. But Rapid Dragon's value isn't just about dramatically increasing the number of aircraft you have available for the fight, or about dramatically increasing the number of weapons you can flood enemy airspace with. It's also a huge money saver. The C-130 Hercules costs between ten dollars and $15,000 per hour to operate, and the absolutely massive C-17 rings in at closer to $24,000. Now that is a whole lot of money, but America's cheapest heavy payload bomber, the B-52 Stratofortress, rings in at nearly $90,000 per hour to fly, and that's, again, the cheapest bomber. The B-2 Spirit rings in at more like $160,000 per hour to fly, and the B-1B Lancer is more like $175,000. So, to put it simply, Rapid Dragon makes it possible to launch literally dozens of stealth cruise missiles into enemy airspace from standoff ranges using cheap-to-operate cargo aircraft, and allows American fighters and bombers that would usually be tasked with launching these cruise missiles to take on more complex tasks within the battle space, making it that much more difficult to intercept any of the stealth cruise missiles coming in, or any of the other aircraft or weapons you send in after them. But if all that wasn't enough, you should know that Lockheed Martin hasn't stopped development on that JASM family of weapons. And in fact, development is ongoing on the JASM XR, a weapon that's expected to have more than a thousand miles of range while still being housed within that same size fuselage, meaning it'll also be able to be launched by Rapid Dragon. 